Hello, my name is Mr Thorne and you're watching Mr Thorne Does Phonics for TES Resources. Now, this video is about an activity rather than a game. Now, so often teachers have asked their children to go and write a list of words that feature their sound of the day or their sound of the week. Well, this is a bit of a twist on that because it makes that activity a little bit more interesting and a bit more engaging. And I give my children a sheet of paper with a selection of felt tip pens and I ask them to write words sporadically across the paper randomly in different directions, different ways and importantly in different colours and then we put all their papers together to make a word wallpaper. Hello, this is the audio commentary for the word wallpapers activity and this is one of my favourite inventions. All I've done is I've used some alliteration and instead of asking the children to create a list of words, you ask them to create a word wallpaper instead. It's essentially the same as a list of words, but it's a lot more fun if you give it a funky name like word wallpapers. And I ask my children to use felt tips, any colours that they like, because how often do children get to use felt tips in the classroom? Hardly ever. So this is a nice opportunity for children to use their phonics, use their knowledge of their newly learnt letters and sounds, and use felt tips and different colours to create a word list, now known as a word wallpaper. The children can space them out across their paper and put them all together to make a huge class poster, a class wallpaper that could go on display for the week that you're doing those sounds. Now, in the video you can see on screen, we've been learning the CK digraph, the K sound. So let's see if the children will be able to create a word wallpaper using the CK spelling. Now before I send them off to their activity, I model it on the board using my felt tips and using some of my ideas for the CK spellings. And then the children go to their desks and create their wallpapers. And remember, they can use any size, shape, style, orientation they like. They may write vertically, diagonally, any which way to make their word wallpaper stand out. As they get more and more words on their paper, they need to think about how to space their words out. You can give them ideas as you walk around the classroom. And you'd expect some of the more able to come up with longer words, nine and ten letter words that feature those sounds or spellings. Try to promote joined writing also. As children complete their word wallpapers, they should bring them to the carpet or to the wall where you will hopefully be displaying them. And as each child completes their work, it will start to build a word wallpaper. And it looks visually spellbinding when you put them all together. And it's a real class effort. Add it to the wallpaper. Cool. Working individually to create their word wallpaper and working together to create the class word wallpaper. And remember, this is nothing new. This is essentially a list of words just presented in a different way to make it more fun, engaging, and exciting. Have a try creating word wallpapers with your class.